What's poppin' everybody? This is Sabro 94. I got some more matches with the Bell Synchro Teledad esque deck for Master Duel. Showing more matches because really soon the deck is gonna have to change, unfortunately. I still can't believe Celestial is gonna get banned. The card is not at fault. It's this fusion destiny that I'm just playing right now, but what can you do? Uh, it's it's really not gonna change that much. I mean Verde hasn't been touched surprisingly so what people are gonna do are probably gonna throw in a different D hero like um, possibly it's gonna be Dyn attack maybe some people are gonna throw in I don't know like uh, decider and then the dasher and it's gonna be the same thing maybe it's not gonna be as good as drawing two cards with celestial but it's gonna be pretty good I mean Dyn attack is a great card too like hand trap decrease the battle damage to zero and uh, hit your opponent for direct damage wins games too so it's not really gonna make much of a difference and then eventually what they're gonna do as they always do is they're gonna realize okay problem isn't getting solved we gotta ban something and they're probably gonna ban well either fusion destiny or destroy phoenix enforcer um, that's what's gonna happen or verity I guess but anyway so I'm playing against blue eyes here um, didn't really have many plays or any plays to make at all but we did have the fusion destiny and it just goes to show you how good this destroyer phoenix card is how broken it is is the word you just get him out and even if you don't have much going on he can still put in the work on its own because he destroys cards and then he revives too good now i also bring in out the uh dystopia guy i think that's his name uh, Destiny Hero Dystopia. Um, I only have one Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, so in this Teledad, if we're going to do double Fusion Destiny and have all of the extra D heroes, you got to have some backup too. So this guy, he can do some stuff too. Uh, not battle damage, direct damage with his effect. Then you can destroy cards if you got Dine Attack. In the graveyard, it can increase his attack. So good shit too. Um, my opponent open with the blue eyes. He couldn't really do much, so we're just going to OTK him. Um, all the little damage from the little D heroes adds up too. If you can get them out. So that's game one. Wasn't too great, but I mean, blue eyes... It's, it's not a useless deck, but... I'm always happy to play against it because it's not Tri-Brigade. It's not Virtual World. It's not some of those bullshit-ass decks. It's kind of... You, you know what it, to expect from it. Uh, you know what to expect from the other decks too, I suppose, but it's just harder to deal with those, the stuff that they can do. Okay, so we're going to do some more actual Teledad shit in this game. Summon my uh, E-Hero Shadow Mist and get the Rocket Dragon Teledad style with the uh, Rocket Launcher or Rocket Pad, whatever the spell card is. Basically, just like Emergency Teleport, you grab one of those guys from the deck. So... Get our bells and not minus too much, thanks to Shadow Mist. But because he changed to the foolish, uh, no, it's not a foolish, it's burial goods. What the hell is the name? I always forget the damn name. But that card that banishes your cards from the graveyard, basically. Uh, I didn't get the plus, but I mean, he had to spend a card anyway. I guess I don't have to worry about that. And now Call of the Haunted should be more safe. I mean, he did play the duster, so I guess that's the end of that story, too. I'm going to summon the Rocket Tuner, but he doesn't really just... He's not going to give me an effect like Shadow Mist, if only it didn't get banished. And this guy is using the Klee cards. I remember when I used to hate these cards so much because they were so broken. I guess technically they can still do some nasty stuff. Uh, Skill Drain, they like to use this card, too. Uh, with Klee's, you can go to, like the skill drain control route, or you can do the route of uh, let me just get the Apocalypse Towers out and win the game that way. So we're going to summon double Dark Arm Dragon, but unfortunately, because of the Klee in the Spell and Trap card zone, my attacks decrease. I can't really run over this dude. I mean, it becomes 2800 thanks to skill drain too, so it just puts in so much work in this deck. It's going to be semi limited. Thankfully, we do see Harpies Feather Duster at just at the right time. 
He's going to chain this life's end though, which is going to save all of his cards. Well, except the, except the skill drain, which I guess it's okay, but I would really like to get rid of those pendulum scales. It's what you want to do. Playing against decks like these, get rid of the pendulum scales so that they can't plus and get those pendulum summons. Free monsters basically, recanting it every turn. So I nuked a few cards, but couldn't destroy the scales thanks to the life's end effect. It's going to have to be next turn if Dark Arm Dragon survives. So he only got one monster, that's great. And this time we're definitely going to nuke everything. So nuke, uh, monolith, luke the other scale. And I'm not really going to go for game just yet. Couldn't have another card to destroy. But if I use the effect of the rocket launcher, whatever the name is, Destroy him, get another one from the deck, and go for an attack that way. Pretty nice. It's, uh, it's kind of like how those uh, Cosmo cards, or and I guess the Sky Striker host do. Quick effect, get rid of it, summon another one. And then get extra attacks during the battle phase. It's broken. So that was game two against the Klees. Not bad, not bad. Putting in the work. Uh, it looks like my opponent is playing... Well, looking at the... Necro Valley, you'd think it's Grave Keepers, but Necro Valley is just a generic, generically solid uh, anti-meta card. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to pop the Necro Valley, because I know that it can negate Destroy Phoenix effect. And I'm going to pass the turn, not attack, because that's Grave Keeper Spy, if I was a guessing man. So my dude is going to come back, and I'm going to destroy him once again. But uh, looks like it was Fossil Dyna Pachycephalo. Damn. Okay, so I went, I went with that play thinking that it's going to be Gravekeeper Spy so that I'm not going to let him get the free summon. Destroy the card before it can flip. But it was Fossil Dyna. I mean, same thing. Just sort of uh, got rid of all of his cards. Can't really plus. All right. So game four. Looks like it's... Ah, <sighs> Phantom Knights. At least they don't they're not gonna have the number seventy five. It was the the shadow bamboozling the, the card that puts the materials on the heroic challenger dude. Like when I was making the bandless video, I, I was looking at the master tool notification, have all in all of the information, but I wasn't looking at the card scans, so I wasn't sure if it was that card, but my guess was pretty correct that it was that card. I mean, it makes sense. Finally get rid of it. In the first place, why they gotta make cards like that, we'll never know. Well, actually, we do know. It's for the sake of money. But then they get rid of them, and then they print them back again. So this dude didn't do too many crazy shits. Uh, he did have a lot of back row, though. I got rid of it with the Lightning Storm, which is very fortunate when you can do that. But, I mean, those Phantom... Uh, Phantom Knight Swords, they float all of them, so it's not like I accomplished that much. So, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, and the big 1900 rocket dude is going to put in some work. I uh, inflict a lot of battle damage, and I've got two solid monsters. This dude instantly surrendered uh, too early, but anyway, it says connection fails, but I know a rage quit when I see one. So keep on going got a pretty well decent hand we got the quick quick launcher which is a card you want to see early and then when you see that you want to see things like stratos and shadow mist maybe even some of the other d heroes like celestial which is now going to get banned or perhaps decider just cards that are going to give you a card back so when you synchro with them it's basically well it's not necessarily a two for one, it's a one for one. Let's just say that. So this guy is using the Dark Lords with Despia shit. They do work together. I mean, you use the Despia Field Spell Fusion card to get this dude out. Which is like the ultimate Dark, Dark Lord Fusion Lucifer. Summons dudes, prevents dudes from dying, does a lot of shit. So it's gonna maxi my ass too, great. So, pay a thousand, 
and it's going to summon something, this guy, both of the level 9s, going to banish, drill dark, stratos, get, uh, uh, what's it called? The denier, and gonna go for a bell's play. I, I'm gonna give him a lot of free cards, but I had to do that because if I leave myself open, Dyn attack isn't gonna save me. So with bells, I have a little bit of defense at least, and I'm gonna get rid of a monster too. So at least if he has to get rid of bells and uh. I've got down attack in hand, I could be safe because these Dark Lords, they've got high attacks, of course. Especially that 4k guy. I mean, if he hits you, you're already halfway there. So, super polymerization, super broken card at this point. They freaking banned this card or it got limited, then it came back, then it got limited again. I don't know what happened, but it's just too, too damn good. We have so many cards that do this shit, just... Use up cards from your opponent's field. It's insane. So he did deal with bells very easily. Uh, I'm just going to barely survive here. Thanks to Dyn attack. Barely hanging on. And I've got three strong ass monsters to deal with. To say the least. Uh, Monster Reborn though. Bells. The great thing about bells. If I have to say something great about this card is that. He doesn't care about Destroy Phoenix, which is excellent when you can get this sort of benefit. He doesn't negate like a bunch of shit, like Baron to Flirt, of course. But he's just not going to die. And this guy didn't know, doesn't read the card, so he did get rid of uh, Destroy Phoenix in the end. That's great for me because now my attack is back to normal. Get rid of the Venom Starving Dragon, and it's also not going to care about that card. Destroy all monsters on my field that are special summoned. Bell's not going to get affected. Get Dyn Attack back with Decider. And I'm looking pretty okay. I'm not winning yet, but I have a position in the game. Um, Decider is also going to be pretty good right now because these big ass monsters can't target him. So he decides to attack Bell's. I'm going to get the attack increase. He can obviously target Decision Guy for an attack. But he's going to go for this big uh, Link Ho that reminds me of Saya from Blood Sea. Yeah, pretty random, but uh, yeah, that was a fucked up anime for sure. Really scared the shit out of me when I was 18. Uh, let's not get into that, but yeah. First time seeing this Link, but it did get rid of Decider. Um, I, I read the effect though, and I can actually deal with her. Even though she looks kind of cool. Uh, we can deal with her. So, bring out my own Destroy Phoenix. Easily kill her by battle. And I gotta get some additional defense because I'm gonna die basically with only 300 life points. I gotta bring my dudes in defense. But just in case something happens to Destroy Phoenix, I gotta pop something. I can't leave myself open. But he surrendered at the end. So that's very good. Another GG. Probably didn't expect it. But this is what this deck can do. Uh, if you do your shit right, you got the right cards. Make the combos right. As long as they don't have 50,000 negates. This is basically Teledad with floaters. That's the best way I can describe it. We only have two Malicious. But all of the new cards, like the new D-Heroes, like Denier, Decider, Dynatag... Uh, the rocket cars, all this shit, they do help a lot. Updated Teledad deck for sure. So this guy, that's uh, Relinquished Millenniumize Restrict coming out. And he's got that sheep dude as well. Gonna give him the Sangam back. Gonna go for another Link play. Verde. Goddamn. To be honest, I don't think this card... I mean, it's it's broken, the fact that you can do the Fusion Destiny shit and the Thunder Dragon shit and all the bullshit. But there are just so many other cards that were more uh, are just more problematic than Verde that they're not going to address, either in the TCG or in Master Duel. 
But anyway, so what I'm going to do here, it might seem a bit weird, but it's because I know what you're supposed to do against the Millennium Eyes Restrict. I know how to deal with that card. Most people would just try and play effects and shit, and then you, the dude can steal your monster and negate your shit. You just attack, and if they don't have any other protection, you can just get rid of it, basically. So this dude probably did not expect that at all. Now... I don't have much defense, but I do have the Dino Attack in hand. I don't think he's going to OTK me this turn anyway. I mean, Relinquished. The thing with this deck is that it's still your, your monsters. So, if you got weak-ass monsters, they can't really steal much. So, I'm going to use Snow Rabbit. Uh, pop the Relinquished. That's an easy way to deal with it. But, uh, the chain, the way it works is that he does steal the monster. So, since there's no target to equip... The Nier got went to the graveyard too. It's unfortunate, but I mean, the whole point was to get rid of Relinquished. Uh, because you can't really get rid of it by battle. So it's going to negate my shit with Stratos, but I'm going to get rid of Verde. And as you guys can see, even without getting going into Synchros and shit, you can deal with a deck like this. If you play your cards right, you know what you're doing. That's what skill is all about, man. Just making the right plays, understanding what your opponent does... And just forcing them to run out of resources. So he got a bunch of cards back because of all the ritual cards that let you grab two cards from the deck nowadays. Um, and it's going to get out the Relinquished. Damn it. But I should still be good. It's just going to hit me for 1800. And I've got the Raigeki in hand. I've got Allure. I have plays to make. Just depends on what we see. And just my luck. Draw the second malicious. So I guess we're just going to get rid of it. But first, do Raigeki. Uh, get rid of Yaidu. And going to go for Quick Launch. Decision Guy. And going to go for a Synchro. Indeed, indeed. Well, actually, no. Abyss Dweller. My mistake. Because he has cards that resolve in the graveyard. I decided to go for Abyss Dweller. It just... Not as much damage, but I'm controlling the game, and he won't be able to do anything. Uh, yeah. Just chain up his Dweller. You can't really activate any cards, and it's a GG. Uh, Allure, but it's going to surrender. Didn't get anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed these Teledet matches. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Wazai!